Okay, we back. Yeah, I got it. But All right. so I was saying, I said so directly after that fight, Riddick was talking through his nose, sound like he had a fat tongue and shit. I said, I said, man, he got injured, man, and they let that man get beat on for another five or six rounds, man, injured. And clearly, you could see uh, his reaction time. Um, you know, his, his, his he was walking around on his heels, no rhythm, no balance. I said, man, you got to know the signs, bro. You got to know the signs. And, yeah. and you know what? The only way you know the signs that I know of is experience and being taught by uh, your tra the, the trainers you come up under or the trainers that taught you to be a trainer to look for those signs, right? So that's, that's, that's why I say, man, when I'm telling uh, – Quentin, man, you got to treat it as if I'm there. You know what I'm saying? You got to, man, I don't take a walk nowhere. <laughs> don't do shit, man, especially over there in another country, you know? So I just, I'm, I'm just skeptical like that, bro. I, I don't, you know, we got a job to do, just do it and get on home, you know? Let me, let me share something with you. Now, see what you, see what you just said, and you on point with that because this well, is something that Chaco. That? Yeah, I'm here. I can't I see, see you. you. Oh, I can't see you at all. But go ahead. Oh, okay. It was the light, huh? Can you see me now? Nah, it's almost like it's pointed the other direction or something. I, I can see you. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, it's pointed down instead of at you. Yeah, I wonder what's wrong with it. Hold on. You got to turn it around, them little arrows. Ah, uh, man. I can't. Uh. I'm the same way. They got the little arrows at the bottom. Look, see? I, I spin mine around. Okay, I think we back. Oh, we hey man, I'm, I, hey, I, I'm slow with this technology. I'm I thought maybe forget. Hey, 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 th hey, this is what I was getting ready to tell you. See, Chato, man, you on point because Chato was a great trainer, and he did the same thing. That's how we were. Whenever I fought, when I did Spain, Italy, uh, man, I've been a whole. I mean, as a professional, I, I, I fought in uh, uh, Argentina three times. And listen, when I went over there, every time we went out, especially when we went out the country, like whenever we went to go eat, somebody else would order my food, and I it's order sweet. food, but that, but yeah, it's but that, but that food that I that food that I ordered didn't nobody eat, and we paid for it every right. time. Now check this out: we was in Argentina one time, and we went and ate, and whenever we ate, we always would walk a half a mile or a mile. The digest your food and all that stuff. And we used to walk. And I never forget, we was in Argentina one time. We had eight. Somebody ordered my food. And I ordered some food that we ended up just leaving there. Check this out. So we walking and then we find a coffee place and we go in there and drink coffee and I ordered my own coffee. Right. Why come when, why come when I drunk that coffee? Keep in mind, I'm fighting Jorge Castro from Argentina. So those people, somebody put something in my coffee, I started throwing up. They they and, think we crazy. They think we crazy until yeah, yeah, somebody yeah. put until somebody put something in your mouthpiece or your car. It ain't crazy. <laughs> but and check this out. <clears throat> and it could be. It don't even got to be a setup. It could be like you saying. You went to Argentina and you fighting an Argentina fight. It could be just right. the person. I'm gonna help my fighter. 
and put something Captain in your Newton. And I was the whole setup. So that's, that, that's, what, that's what happened. That, hey, right. that's, what happened. that's what happened to Gerald. That's, right. that's what told, happened to Gerald, man. Yeah, I that's told, what happened. I told Q, I said, you in Bogota, Colombia, man. You fighting somebody from Bogota, Colombia, man. It don't take nobody but just the person bringing your food to the room or whatever. Put a laxative, anything. And I say, yeah. and I say, uh, uh, you know, the fighter's mind is, I'm going to just win. I can overcome everything. But listen, that's a good mind state. But then I got to do my job. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm, yeah, over, I'm over here with bad nerves until I see the fight and we won. I, my nerves ain't going to calm down because I know I'm supposed to be there. I just couldn't get there, man. I couldn't get there because of legal, you know, the, the passport thing. So, yeah, man, it, it, it's it, you got to know the signs, man. It, 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 and and we all can make mistakes, even if you know the signs. You can miss it because your mind's somewhere else or whatever, you know. So, But those are tragic situations. Really, Bo, I think, uh, Gerald McClellan, I think all those – People need to learn from that, man. Instead of going, this is what I understand, brother. Everybody, everybody got the YouTube, right? Everybody got, everybody got uh, uh, the ability to look at YouTube, and I, but nobody, but nobody don't study fights. They study, they study training guys who who who. I don't know, did they produce anything or not? They they looking at what this guy said about some boxing mitts or, 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 you know, whatever the case may be. When you can sit there and go look at Reggie Johnson fight James Tony, you know, whatever, yeah. you can watch the fight. You can go look at, like, everybody who watched this video. If they don't take this away from this video, if they don't go look at Gerald McClellan versus Nigel Ben, if, right, they, don't right. look at, if they don't go look at Riddick Bowe versus... Andrew Galata, number right. two, you're missing the boat. You don't understand, man. I told a guy one time, I said, I told a guy, I said, man, he, said, he asked me about defense and myth. You know, my mid work is like uh, the way I learn. It's like we spawn. You know, I use the gloves to catch. Them. Right, right. Right. I said, I said, what? I said, well, do me a favor. Go find me a video of Roberto Duran hitting the mitts. Go find me a, uh, a, 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 a video of Joe Lewis hitting the Oh, you can't find that? All right, let me do what I do. <laughs> let me finish doing what I can do. I say, I say, I say, it don't make sense, man. So you could look at all these fights, man. You could look at all these people. You could go look at Eddie Futch and his fight. You could go look at Manny Stewart and his fight. You could go look at all them guys, man. Uh, All the top. We didn't have that, bro. I didn't have that growing up. I had my uncle, my daddy, right. and that's it. And, and 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 unless we watch the closed circuit fights or the ABC fights, you got to see the performance. But nobody got to go in the in the in the gyms and watch like they got the ability today, right? I seen a I seen a thing where they show. I don't know where it's at, but I seen a few videos of where they got that that famous crop spar. I guess man. Yeah, man yeah. Man, you still yeah. used to keep that thing. If you're not watching that, instead of somebody pity patting on the mitts, man, what's wrong with you, man? You check, you got check this out. Hey, check this out. This is another thing, man. Fighters don't really trust other fighters. Now you got to just, just that's just like you talk about watching videos. They got they, they got some trainers. Say uh, and some fighters say, "Well, I don't, I don't watch videos of the guy I'm fighting. I let my, I let the coach watch it. Or this, wait, a man, wait a minute. Okay, it's it, it, it's better if you and the coach watch it because the coach can see, and then you can see with your own eyes. That that don't, that don't make sense to me. I don't watch even, even Mayweather say that, but I know that's a lie. You go, I know I Mayweather be, watching them tapes. They, they I people don't going that. Yeah, I don't that's, that's that a lie. Yeah, yeah, I don't believe you about nobody, bro. If they yeah, tell man. me, don't watch it, it don't, and there's pictures it don't, of it don't make sense. It don't make sense to me. 
Listen to me. Okay. Oh, yeah. My coach Chato watch him, but I watch, I watch him too. And Chato tell me to watch him because right. Chato say, listen, I'm not I'm not gonna be the one getting my teeth knocked out. Right. A <laughs> you need to watch. It. <laughs> a thousand percent. Well, not only that. If I if I got the ability to watch, and I'm sitting there with my fighter, we watch. You know, I don't do hard instructions from the corner. I, I, you know, I got a limited time. I need to, I need to touch bases on it. What you need to do immediately. And right, so, right. And, and same thing during the, uh, same thing during the fight, right? I see a lot of coaches. They get all excited and they holler. It's my job to be excited, but talk calm so you don't get excited. So when I'm, exactly. giving, when I'm giving you, uh. Uh, strategies and stuff, man. I need you to hear. It need to be clear and concise. And before this fight, we done talked about what we doing, so that I'm basically just reminding you. Hey, right. you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they say they don't look at fights, buddy. I'll be fucking like, I don't believe that. Anybody say nah, that? I don't, I, don't, I don't believe that. Either. Hey, 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 check this out, man. This is what I was getting ready to tell you, man. Say, like, I, I use Quinn as an example. And other fighters like Quentin. And let me tell you, when Quentin came to my office, it was hard for me to believe that this man was selling tickets. But you know what Quentin told me? He said, hey, man, but I got to eat. And I say, man, and I thought to myself, I say, boy, this man, that's right. You got to respect that. The man said, I got to eat. I got to do what I got to do. And see, stuff started to take off for him. But, right. he, you know. Right. And but and, and and I just I always think about that. He say, "Hey man, I gotta eat." And you know what? He right. We all gotta eat. He he gotta do what he gotta do to get to where he gotta go. And everybody, there there's many ways to get there. That just that just like that just like a uh uh a, a, a lot of times Jehovah Witness sometimes will pull you over. I was in a parking lot with my aunt one day, and uh we pulled up in the grocery store Kroger's. And I said, oh, man, here they come. My aunt said, whoa, whoa, who coming? Wait, wait. I said, oh, no, no, no. And when we get out of the car, them Jehovah Witness came to bring me the, the, the stuff. And and, and sometimes I just take it and say, how y'all doing? Boom, boom, we take it. And, and sometimes I don't take it. I say, oh, no, I'm a Christian. No, I'm just, you know, I tell them that, you know, cause, you know, I'm a Muslim one day. I'm a Christian. I go, I go, you know, I believe in I believe in people who believe. Check this out, man. So so I told I like that, that. You believe Listen, in people that, that, that believe. I like that. That's right. Check Hey, check this out. So, so, so I tell the lady this day, I didn't take it that day. I told the lady, I say, listen, ma'am, I don't want to offend you, but I, I'm not going to take this today. I say, but even though we're trying to get to the same place, we just take a different route. My aunt say, oh, nephew, how did you come up with that? What all that? <laughs> you know? But, but, but it's the same thing with, with, with boxing. Listen, man, fighters. Don't trust fighters. Now you'll be a, that's just like not watching tape. You'll be a fool not to have somebody, a world. Uh, if you have access to have a world champion with you in your corner, uh, seeing seeing people with you, really that 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 adds credibility to what you're trying to do. You see what I'm saying? And right. and and, 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 and uh, one of the things. When I, when I, whenever I seen Quentin when he was over at a, a CDM when he was spawn, and I told him a couple of times, I said, man, you, uh, and I seen him fight over there a couple of times. Uh, I say, Quentin, I say, I say, your legs is way too wide. I know, I know, I know you didn't address that a lot of times with him, right? About his legs mm -hmm. being too wide, which takes away from what? Your power. Right. And see, they, they, they got them, they got them things. I say, you might need to get them bands. They got them bands you can put on your leg and keep your legs a certain distance. Because Quentin can punch and he can punch. That's just like Deontay Wilder, man. If that dude threw right, the right punches with his body behind him, he probably killed somebody. Yeah. He, throw, he, throw, he, he, he throwing bolo punches and knocking people out. So this thing, if he throwing with all his body behind them punches, right. He probably killed somebody. You see what I'm saying? So, but a, a, a lot of, a lot, I mean, this is a different era. A lot of these, a lot of these fighters don't don't really understand that. But I, I try to talk to a lot of those guys, man. You gotta understand, man. When when they go, when they go to that national team, man. Uh, as a trainer, you really gotta be secure as far as I gotta let him do this part of his career, right? Because. Trying to hold on and, and and making him fight against what they're trying to show him and all that ain't gonna do him no good, right? 
So, right, right. So, they learning things up there, man, that my background ain't amateur boxing as far as a trainer goes. Uh, right, right. I, I didn't know how to build amateur fighters. I knew how to build fights. He just right. took it, converted it to amateurs, and was successful. And so a lot of things I see they having him do. And I'm like, man, that that's a polar opposite of what he should be doing. But right, 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 right. That's, that's how they train when they go and fight Kazakhstan or Germany and all this thing. So you got to right, sit right. back and be like, when he get home, I'll fix that shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah, said, yeah, yeah. he said, coach, he said, man, I need some knockouts, right? And I said, you want a knockout, man? I said, all right. And it's funny what you mentioned because <laughs> that's exactly what I did. Uh, and we fought at CDM. He got that second round knockout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. I think it, it, it's it's all technique, man. It's all technique. When if when the feet starts fly, uh, 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 splaying out, you taking away from that torque on your punch. You need to shoot that thing from where you at, and you'll get him. And that's what he did. But it's hard. But now we ain't got that to worry about. Now, right, right. There's a whole nother animal now. This is I, I'm in my comfort zone as a trainer. Now I know, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, all the all the different things. Uh, uh. That I'm looking for, this other guy ain't even looking for this shit. I told him, I said, son, you out there by yourself. Now, I'll show you your, your, your partners who's with you. They going to help you best they can. I said, but I need you to think here, you know, and start naming all the other stuff outside the ring. Because you don't need to go to this country, man, and get and, and get uh, messed over because you are not on your note, you know. But, again, all I can do is talk from here, you know. So let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Because well, one of the things I do know is that Quentin, when I talked to him, when he brought your name up, he said that's he said that's my man. He said, talk to him. We get, we get with him, this and that. So I know he had the utmost respect and he believed in you. So so and I thought about having a talk with him, but I'm gonna have this talk with you. Another thing, see, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta look at the big picture. Right now, he's making progress as a pro, and it's gonna be. He, he's in really, he's in a position now to start getting sponsors and things of that nature. Don't you agree? Right? Uh, Listen, man, these youngsters gotta be careful what they put on them social website because that's what the people do. Just like the government and everybody, they go back and check. The, they know everything about you because they go look at your website. I, I can go look at a person's Facebook, Twitter page, uh, Instagram, and, 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 know and, and, and you know, I, 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 I can learn a lot about them. So that's another thing that 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 that, that, that I don't want to. I mean, I'm glad I didn't bring that up to him because I started to, but he would listen to you, you his coach, and say, "Man, you got to be careful what you put out there and how you speak on there." Now, like, 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 I, I, I know I'm a mature guy, and I never was that way because I was taught this by Mr. Carter. I, I think I told you about Mr. James Carter. Everybody referred to my white daddy. He had me since I was 12. He died about five, right. six years ago. But check yeah. this out, man. But, but Mr. Carter uh, uh, instilled that in me about how you carry yourself, how you communicate with people, and how you. But Quentin got to be careful what he's putting out there on the on the stuff with the with. The, listen, man. They got a lot of athletes that made a lot more money just on their endorsement than they did with the sport that they play or do. I agree. Don't give up that endorsement money, bro. Quentin got it, and, 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 and that's a conversation that that, that, that you're going to have with him on that. And not only him, it's a lot of a lot of a lot of people doing it. A lot of them fighters, man, they just put anything on there, man. I be worried. I be worried about Clarissa be doing that, and people would tell her, and she just. You know, she got, she's, she's, uh, nah, I ain't worried about what, that. What's she, uh, what, what, no, what she put on there? What did she put just, on there? Cause I, I, not, I, I don't watch her a lot. I've seen some of her stuff, but I ain't seen that. Just, what name? Certain what ways she, she responds to stuff. And her, and, and I'm a big fan. And I be seeing like her fans say, you know, Clarissa don't talk like that or say this. Cause she don't ever say nothing really bad, but just marketing wise, you know, it is. Put it this way. If I see something, I say, Q, man, take that shit off of there, bro. And if it, what's up, man? Because people reading that, you know, the wrong people, he'll take it off of there, but I don't catch everything either. And 
Quentin is very much a self-made dude, right? When when I started building him, Reggie, he came out from the jailhouse to the gym in two weeks. And he said, I'm going to be a fighter. And I say, everybody want to be a fighter. Let's see. You know, and that was in 2011. <laughs> that was in 2011. Right. <laughs> and, <Yeah. clears throat> and now here we is in 2019. He had, he had uh, them the 90 amateur fights. We, we 4-0 going to be 5-0. So you're right. I do got I do got his in. I try to lead the best I can, you know. And there's things he's passionate about with, with like, you know his story with his churn and stuff. He had two kids uh, taken from him, you know, uh, one in birth and and and, and Quinnell in in the, in the accident. So he'll see something like somebody doing something to some kids, boy, and he, he, you know, and this is your outlet. So he'll get right on there, you know, this dirty devil. Yeah, yeah man. But you don't want people to think you you because he's not he's. <clears throat> He's not an uncontrollable dude. He, you know, he listens and everything. If you got his ear, so. But no, he's no, Quinn like, is smart. He's yeah, smart. Yeah. I watched his interview with a uh, 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 DA with uh, David Austin, and and that, yeah. that's the first time I ever seen his interview. And I'm like, man, what? He, he's sharp. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Man. But but you know what? That's money. That's why I say, yeah. how can you? That, hey, I give you the prime example. Tupac Shakur. You know how smart that dude was. On one hand, but then on the other hand, he go do stupid stuff, spitting in the courtroom, talking wow, crazy man. to the judge. That, man, that, that, that hurts you, man. That hurts that you, make brother. Them, <clears throat> that make them convict you on what you're doing right. now, not, not the not the crime. Right. right, I right. And like yeah, I yeah, said, yeah. Uh, and I, like I told, like I told him then, I said, look, son, I said if they don't want to <clears throat> roll out the red red carpet or and they want to, I said, guess what? We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Because all we got to do, what you can't deny, is ability and win. So if they don't want to open the front door, we come through the side door, through the window, whatever. But it's earned, and you're going to value it that much more, you know? But that I – mean, You, you yeah, educated I mean, me, man. I, 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 I didn't know, cause, but I did. He told me about he had been to jail again. But I didn't know you had been with him all that time, all the way from when he came out of jail. See, I didn't know that. That's oh, a bond I, right I, there, bro. I developed Quentin, man, from the very beginning. I didn't see. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I'll tell you I right quick. I'll tell you right quick. 2011, he came in the gym. We started. I had him for the uh, first 20-something fights or whatever. And then I got I got myself in some trouble and had to go away for a little while. And uh -huh. so so he had to keep fighting, you know, and, he, and so he found wrong. Ron Collins, you know Ron, right. and right. Ron, him and Ron worked together for about two years. And right. then, okay, I remember. I remember when he was with Ron. Yeah, right. And then, and so when I come home, I go. I couple my my old amateurs coach. What you gonna do, man? We want to fight, you know, because they won't go. It's, they won't go fight with nowhere. I say, all right, man, because I told Q. I said, Q, you didn't leave me, bro. I left you, you know. Yeah, and you yeah. and you went. And you will become successful, you know, and everybody deserves their part in that. Ryan Collins, you know, the USA team, that's real. They was there. They helped him. But the minute I was back in the gym, he walked through the door. <laughs> man, Coach, what's yeah. happening? Bro? You are going to tell me that? I said, listen, man, you was winning. You was doing good. And I don't approach fighters. And even though you was my fighter, you had to go and, you know, and, and continue. I said, that's right. I said, if it was working, I wasn't going to get in the way. Because right, right, all right. I want you to do is be successful. I know your story. I know your work. I know what you put in this game. I know who was supporting you who wasn't, right, the whole mm -hmm. time when you had no fights. So right. I said, I wasn't going I wasn't gonna to get involved, you know. And, 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 of course, the next day he was back, the next day he was back, and then uh, uh, he asked me what I worked with Ron. I, I said, listen, man. I said, I don't know how to. I said, I ain't never co calling and you know, I, I, I ain't never did that before. I said, but if you asking me to help, of course I help you, right? And yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, me and Ryan sat in the corner together for one fight, I think, at CBM, and he got a knockout in there. And uh, and shortly after that, he just 
I didn't want to get involved with their personal thing. I know he said Ron and them helped him out big time, you know, when I was gone. And so I didn't want to get involved. But all I know is one day he coming to the gym, he said, well, coach, it's just me and you. So I said, all right. And it's been like, it's been back like that for the last couple of years. So. Hey, and hey, now, hey, I, I, I bet you, I bet you I know what the problem was. <laughs> Ron's, Ron's wife. Hey. <laughs> already, hey. Hey, bro, I already know what time it is, man. I already, yes, already, man. I already know what time it is. And, hey, listen, we can get off that. We ain't even got to talk about that. I just want you to know that I know. And see, this is, I also want you to know something that you already know. If a man has done what you've done, that's why I told told uh, uh, told him when he is at, at my office, I said, man, I can't believe this, man. I said, listen, you was number one in the nation, number five in the world, and you selling Two years. tickets. Two years I said, now, listen, now, and, and I said, now, back in the day in 1984 when me, Tyson, all of us came up, I was number three in the nation, and I was like number, I think, eight or nine in the world, and when I signed, when I turned pro, I got two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And you right. mean to tell me you were number one and number five, and you ain't getting nothing? You selling tickets? Hey man, that messed me up, bro. Yeah, that man. messed me up, man. That that messed me up. Well, it ain't. But like... I mean, I know times change, but he should have got something. He he he. I think I think he could have got a deal, man. But once again, it's who you reach out to. Like 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 say if say if he would have went to like a. a, a a uh, manual steward or somebody on that level, a uh, uh, close to that level, that say, man, like, 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 even if, e even if, if, if he would have went, if he would have went to uh, Termite Watkins or, 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 or Ronnie Shields, they could have got him a deal. And and when I say go, went to them, I mean go to him, go to go to them to be like a a, a, a co trainer to work with to, to work with you, but that would have got y'all in, and y'all would have got a big. You see what I'm saying? Big. Would have got y'all a big deal. Well, I'm gonna tell you this, man. When Jericho I, just did that. <laughs> without, right, I seen that. Without yeah. naming names, without naming names, it wasn't that he wasn't. It wasn't that he wasn't approached and promised that we gonna make this move and make that move. They had several. They had three for sure. Three, three well-known situations. And when it was time to cut a check, you know. uh Everybody got cold feet, so uh, I'm with you. I'm right there with you, and uh, and what you gonna do, man? Now, now he got a he finally a little investor came along, man, mm -hmm. that's helping him out, right? And so, uh -huh. uh, so he finally picking him up some money. So, okay, uh, that's good. Yeah, so so part of that obligation was happening today, right? So, uh. You're right though, man. You're right though. And, and and guess what? I'm known in New Orleans and Houston now. It ain't like I'm a major trainer. I don't I don't make believe I'm somebody, but I I can tell you what I can do and what because it shows and proves and and, and and at all all levels of the game. I done been you know we did the Vegas thing in one. We did you know all this other stuff, man. So I understand the hesitation and like I told him, I always told him. I said, look, man. When a promoter comes along, man, uh, I, I just need to let you know out the gate. They they got a trainer in the gym on payroll. They spend their money on them. And when they sign people, that's where they want them, you know. Nah, yeah. coach, nah, coach, I ain't never, you know, I said, listen, man, if it ever comes down to you making a living, man, I said, I'm not going to get in your way, bro. So, mm -hmm. and and his whole thing was, it ain't about it in the way, man. I win. You, you know, like you said, that bond, that bond with fighters, and, and I appreciate that, man. And and as long as we have an agreement, and and that's what's gonna be. I'm gonna always protect it. Reggie. I ain't no get along dude, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't get, I don't get. I was born in the boxing, so boxing that don't, you know, meet me fighters and stuff. I got heroes and stuff too, but meeting just a name. You know, you could set me. This is what I'm saying, Reggie. You could set me in a room with Eddie Hearn, Bob Arum, and I. I'm not gonna be flabbergasted. I'm not gonna be out of my element at all. You know what I'm saying? So, right? Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He know if I'm in the room, mm -hmm. he getting the best protection I can do. Right. You know. Right. Right. 
Right. Man, it's been all everybody. Let me ask you this, Reggie, even with you and, and your guy. Wh what did Quentin tell you as soon as y'all started talking business? No, no, no. He told me, he said, no, that, he said, that's my guy, man. We got to talk to Coach Collinsworth. Yeah. I don't, so I don't worry about that. Right, and they right, stand right. on the phone. It's the same thing with all these other guys, you know. When Charlo wants yeah. to get involved with him, guess what? Come on, Coach, let's go. We went over there and talked to him. And then he put us on the phone with uh, the Invisible Man. What's his name? Uh, the big guy, the, the uh, Floyd's guy. God damn. Oh, the, yeah, you're talking about uh, um, the money guy, the black guy. guy. I know the guy to do all the, it used to be the concert guy, uh, Al Yeah, Hayden. you know. Al yeah, Hayden. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Charlo put Al Hammond on three way. You know, I he know, he know I'm finna speak up. I'm finna defend his position, right? And so that's mm -hmm. why you see that, man. And, and I, I ain't here to get in the way. I'm in here because I taught him how to fight. He's been successful at every level so far, and we plan on being successful now. So, uh, and I think that's we we got that that bond like you was talking about with your trainer, man. And, and but, man, but, 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 but but me and you on the same page, and, and, and really, what you just said, just pretty much what I was 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 trying to say. Why these fighters don't trust fighters? Because think about it. See how he went to Charlo, and then he got in, got connected with Al Heyman. Just, right. just like, 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 like Jericho should have been and got with somebody like a, 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 a Ronnie Shields, cause those guys are already in, and they can bring you to those people. And that, 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 that's all I was. That's all I was saying. Right. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, 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 and, yeah, and, yeah. And you know when I talk to you, I'm not against that. All right. If yeah, we yeah, make yeah. Some, if, if, if we shade some trees and make some things happen. We we'll we'll figure it out. You know what I'm saying? No, that ain't absolutely. No so absolutely, man. It was just it was just you gotta wait and see because the the kid that been promised this, that, and the third, you know, and when it's time to go, you know, at the eleventh hour when somebody don't come through, as 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 a trainer, you just like calm down. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it. Because yeah. one yeah. thing they can't deny is what you have accomplished. One thing they can't deny is we winning. You know what I'm right. saying? So we're just gonna take the right position. You know, I I I I like what you said. Uh you believe in believers, right? Well right, right, right. My whole crew mm -hmm. are believers, right? Whether whether right. they're Muslim, Catholic, or Christian. So that's right, that's right. When we walk, when we walk, I know every one of us got a God conscious, right? Because that's right. That's every right. deed, every deed we doing, we got to answer for. So, uh -huh. I be comfortable in that man, and so I ain't tripping on nothing, man. Whatever the best situation is for that kid, that's what that's what we gonna do, you know? Because yeah, I was gonna see him win. If he wins, then mission accomplished, right? That's the whole. Right. That's, that's the whole thing, that's man. So, yeah, bro. I think, a, I think I think I think I think like I know we're in a different era. And I think uh, like a lot of the fighters say like 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 Quentin and the other fighters like Jericho, all them guys are trying to come up, and even fighters before them. It's a different era. I think when they see fighters, they say, "Well, man, these dudes, they, man, they 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 won all they won all these world titles, this and that, this and that." But you know, they ain't rich or they ain't got big money, and and. and and they don't understand the business, but they're gonna they gonna they gonna learn to understand. Hey man, this is this, hey really this is why I try to intervene and try to talk to fighters and try to help them out because I don't want you to go through what I went through. Right. That's why I'm working with a group to try to uh, 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 work on business structure, pension, and 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 all that, and a union for fighters the world over because I can have a grandkid. Uh, somebody I know, a media kid, like right now, the guy who just tried to keep calling me in Nigeria, man. He talking about, man, can you send him his equipment? Can I can, can I come live with you? I want to be a fighter. And then I asked him, did he know who the Nigerian nightmare? Yes, I know who Samuel Peters. I reached out to him, but he won't respond to me. And he's from Nigeria. That's what the that's what the guy told me. And I say, yeah. I say, but you gotta slow down, man. I say, I say, you gotta take one step at a time. I say, let me slow down. I say, it ain't just about you. 
I say, who is over the boxing in Nigeria? Because what if, if if we can put help the whole boxing program over there, it it don't only help you; it help boxing as a whole. And then not only you can benefit from that, but other fighters over there, the guys that you sit pictures with, with me, you spawn with, it, they can benefit too. So it's not just about you. And then he got quiet. And then he he un he understood that. Yeah. Well, so 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 that's like now even what I what I've experienced. Well, I mean, I, I mean, bro, I, I'm, I'm willing to share. Listen to me, man. That's like even with with training. I'm not the type of guy that 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 that, 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 that that's a chief trainer, but I can go in gyms and I can show 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 fighters stuff. Give back. And yeah, yeah, I can give back, show them. And and you know, my whole game was being a smart fighter. I, I show you a lot of trickery stuff and some, you know. Uh, 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 physically trickery stuff that helps you out, and, and I tell all fighters, man, you don't, bro. I, I see guys in the gym training fighters. They don't even. They, I started off, man, for a long time. On, the, I had to start off doing the the, the jab line, <laughs> man, because right, right. that's the most important thing. I don't know if you know about that jab line, but that's what we. I mean, and then and then and then I got another deal we used to do that Chato had me do at the end of training. It's called called burnout. At the end of the training, man, you dead tired, but then you do these burnouts, and then you, man, and you be like, man, this is crazy, man. I already are, but then you see how your how you have that extra energy and all that stuff. Increase that red line, right? Increase yeah, yeah. Your, yeah. We yeah, do that. Right. I do burnouts. I don't know if it's the same thing, but I call it burnouts, and he do the yeah, same. Yeah, but, 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 but listen, I went to CDM. I went to a couple of gyms. Whenever I tell them, but they don't do it. <laughs> and I did it with the fighters over there one day, and the fighters like, "Oh man, Ooh, I can feel that." Yeah. Oh, okay, we'll keep doing it and watch how you you gonna have more you gonna have more win. You gonna be able to go more rounds than anybody. But but they don't do it. They, man, they over there doing football stuff in boxing gym. They doing football exercise and all that shit over there. Man, it's crazy. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you, Ray. Whenever this new, because uh, this is relatively new, man, this strength and conditioning shit, coaches. Aside from, I see. I say, if it, if it's a fighter needs a specific thing that I don't know, I say, of course, you can get somebody who knows, right? I say, but, you know, a boxing coach's whole job is to strengthen and condition his fighter for the fight. That's what we do. Right, right, say, right, so, right. So sometimes these guys find a way in to a fighter when it's not necessary, and and you may break the monotony, but it's really bad when you messing it up, right? Because what you just said, some football training or, or something that doesn't cross over the boxing. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, like, right. right. Man, you, that's a bunch of time wasting. And, and, and <laughs> yeah, you, you, may, you, may build, you may build some muscles somewhere we don't need to build on, you know, and I'm not getting the fluidity and, and, and the rhythm and, 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 and everything I need, man. So they keep... It do evolve. Things do evolve. And I, I seen the thing the other day, brand new on, on Instagram. And I said, now nah, that, now nah, that's valuable. I could just see how it goes. What with, was it? What was uh, it? You ever see, you know, when they throw shit at the fighters, the tennis balls and all this old shit? I said, oh. that ain't, that ain't, I said, that don't cross over, man, because I, as a, I believe if you want to box, to get better at box, you box. So, <laughs> yeah. so that's what I think. I say now, you know what we used to do? If to sharpen your hand-eye coordination or, 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 or time, you know, you go get on the uh, ping pong table and just, you know, you play a regular old ping pong game. I hey, say, hey, you must have, you must have saw that thing with Clarissa with somebody behind her throwing the ball and she catch the ball. That's what you said. Now that I said, I said. <laughs> Having her right here and that ball comes over and she don't know where it's coming from, I said, jumping and grabbing that, I said, well, that's hand-eye coordination. I said, that's right, different right. than somebody in front of her throwing a ball at her and she got to move. I said, how hard is it to move from a tennis ball? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. the punch comes from way closer than that. And you got to yeah, yeah. I said, so that, re that tennis ball thing like that, I said, the reaction every time, but that don't have shit to do with boxing. Uh, the, the 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 mechanics is just sharpening that, you know that that reaction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I had never seen that before. I had no, never, never seen that seen before. It. So I said, <laughs> yeah. I said, man, that might be valuable for your. You know, I seen that Lomachenko pressing them numbers and shit. Yeah, I yeah, said, yeah, yeah. I said, well, who the fuck got a number board? I don't. Where you get that shit from? I said, <laughs> you got a program yeah, that yeah. shit. I said, I don't know what that shit is, but that's what they was doing with that ball, right? Right. But she was she wasn't in a fighting stance. It was, they wasn't working on the mechanics. It was just that reaction time. I'm gonna right. tell you another one. That I, so I thought that may be valuable. I don't know, but I think that's valuable. So I'm gonna tell you one that ain't valuable. They put the tennis ball on their head. You ever see that shit? And that ball going, and they punching it off their head. You ever seen that? No, I haven't said that one. But I, I see something similar to that, but I haven't seen that one. I say, here's the problem with that. They thinking you hitting that ball, you know, it's like a, uh, you know, when we as kids with that paddle with that ball. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what they yeah, call yeah. that. I say, yeah. I say they think they're doing that. I say, but the problem is, man, you throwing punches all kind of wrong, you know? Right, you, right, 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 say, right, man, right. That's, that's, that's doing more hurt than help. I say, man. Right, yeah. Let me catch you with a fucking ball on your head, man, and see what happens. That shit going right in the trash, man. I say, <laughs> I say, I say, different stuff for different folks, man. I don't, you know, when they, uh, you know, all the new gimmick, they come up with something. Some of the shit catch on, some of it don't. But it's yeah. bad when some shit, it's bad when some shit catch on that, that ain't doing no good, man. So, so like I said, man, if you got the, uh, <laughs> I don't let the. I'm an old school brother. Come my, you know, my boxing come from old school. So, you know, again, show me a video of Roberto Duran hitting the mitts, and then and then we'll talk about what you're doing over there, man. But until then, I'm gonna show you how to punch. We're gonna work this bag. We're gonna spar, and and, yeah. and we're gonna run, and, and you know, cause that's what a boxing coach is, bro. Strength and conditioning. That's what you want. Now, now. You have a deficiency. Like I know it's the first time I heard of that that term, I know you remember you was an active, you was a champion. When Holyfield went and got that dude to bulk him up so he could be heavyweight. I say, I say, well, he's too small. So they built some muscle so he could fight them boys. And he was two two hundred and two pounds or whatever I said. That's he moved was, up to heavyweight. You talking about Yeah, when guess he went what? Guess what? What's Guess up? what? Holyfield is the one that told me. His name is Tim Hallmark. And Holyfield told me, he said, man, because I was getting ready to fight Lamar. Let me tell you something. I really and truly believe if it wasn't for Tim Hallmark, I would have had major problems with Lamar Parks. But that's the best. I mean, that was a whole new deal for me. And I never forget because I'm thinking about, listen, man, I got to make 160 pounds, man, lifting weights, putting on muscle. I'm going to make it. And, and you know what Tim Hallmark told me? He said, you just going to have to trust me. And I, and, and I trusted him. And that's the best I ever felt. And Lamar Parks was the favorite in that fight. I was defending my title. And I gave, I gave him a boxing lesson. But guess what? This is something that you didn't know about me. When I turned pro at 17, you know who the people hired to train me? Uh -uh. Curtis Coach. Have you ever heard of Curtis Coach? Absolutely. Former what? Curtis from Coach. Yeah, absolutely. I know who that is. That was my. Tr now that's the man who who helped me make the transition from amateur to pro. Curtis Coach. Okay. And the first thing he told me when he came here in the gym, he said, "Listen, Reggie, you're not amateur no more. You're pro. And I want you to understand one thing." He said, "Everything." Start and ends with your legs, defense and offense. He said, "You." He said, "He said if you can get there first with your legs and punch, you win." He said, "Them same legs, if you can get out of the way of of, of a punch, you win." That's why I box. That's why I box the way I box. I beat Lamar Parks with my legs, sir. Absolutely, and I guess what we was taught as kids. This the first thing gonna get you out of trouble. And the first thing gets you trouble. I don't care. I don't That's care right. how fast he is, how good he is. If he can't get yeah. to you, or, or you can get away from him, you move around with your feet, man. So same, same thing, man. Same thing. That uh, you, you know, you know, you know. One thing a person don't understand about boxing, and I tell this to fighters, I tell this to everybody. In the ultimate sport of boxing, a man can be bigger than you, 
He can be stronger than you, and he can even be faster than you, and you still can beat him because you cannot smart him. Guess what? You just explained my family's boxing. <laughs> and like I said, I say, I say, I told last week. I was talking. Hold on, let me read this here. Next fighter. Is that Joe? Is that Joe or Forrest? Let me know which one of y'all it is, next fight. It say in boxing, what goes up can't come down. Roy Jones after Ruiz was never the same. Couldn't could have been those Mexican vitamins, but who knows? We covered that uh, early in the uh, early in the podcast. We was talking about Jones failing them steroid tests. <laughs> uh, Joe, the Dutchman, he was talking about uh, uh, Roy on the Mexican the Mexican supplements. <laughs> Check this out. Check this out. I, I had I had a guy named uh, uh, Herschel Johnson. Me and him went to middle school together. He ended up becoming a bodybuilder, right? And he had a gym on the southwest side, and I used to go to his gym and just work out over there. And one time, we were just talking, and he told me something. Well, he's training. He's training with weights and stuff and doing stuff. And uh, Herschel told me, he said, he say, Reggie, listen, I'm a bodybuilder. I don't have to be running, huffing, and puffing. He said, but so 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 we can take these substance and this this stuff to make us big and strong and do all that stuff. He said, but boxers got to be careful. And this was during the time when Holyfield had problems with his heart. And they, remember they say Holyfield, uh, uh, heart was somewhere over there. Yeah. He said, man, but listen to me. Back then, this was like in the early 90s, Herschel Johnson mentioned five fighters. He said, listen, he said, I can look at a guy and tell if he's on steroids. And he named Ooh. five fighters. You don't you know over the years every one of those fighters tested positive. Their name came up being connected with the steroids. The five it. guys that yeah, Roy Jones, Evander Holyfield, Sugar Shane Mosley, uh, uh, hey, 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 and then I was really surprised when he said Oscar De La Hoya. He said because he said he said well yeah well sometimes it ain't got to be how you look. He said I can look at Oscar De La Hoya, uh, Hoya's nipples and tell that he's on steroids. I say what? Man, looking at the man, Lippos, how can you tell it? He said, Reggie, trust me. And then he named a couple of more fighters. But every one of those fighters he named over the years came up that tested positive for what you call. Done got pinched. He yeah. uh he knew he knew see, that's one thing I know nothing about. The steroids and the PEDs and stuff. I I I, I just I'm I i do not I don't know nothing about it. Listen yeah, to me. Check this out, man. I ain't never knew nothing about it. I just turned I just turned fifty three uh Wednesday. Right. Have I've never been had been. Any, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Check this out. I've never had anything foreign in my I, I hey bro, I ain't never had a beer in my life. Nothing oh. foreign never, never been in my body. I never drunk a beer. I don't even know what it, no alcohol, nothing never foreign been I don't even like taking medicine. I had to be I didn't have surgeries. Before to you where take. I wouldn't even take medicine. Sometimes I had to take it because of the, you know, the, the rotator cuff surgery, the knee, and then I had two hours. Bro, but I don't, I don't mess with no. I, I don't like drugs. I don't, I don't do none of that stuff. Alcohol. I was, I was the designated driver coming up. Now I used to go to the club to go meet girls and stuff. And then right. by, and I was the designated driver for all my friends. They would call me, "Come on, man, let's go, Reggie. We need you." Cause they drink. But I, hey, I don't, I don't do none of that. I don't know nothing about drugs. Well, I'm gonna tell you, man. I'm gonna tell you, man. If if one of my fighters who done incorporated some of these strength and condition guys, and they fuck around and get popped, it's gonna be a problem, man. Between me and that coach, it's gonna be a real life problem, man. Because you 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 ruining my reputation. You trying to ruin my fighters' reputation, all because <laughs> you trying to find a way to cut a corner to be a part of something that we right, probably right. need your ass anyway. You know, so, nah, nah, so nah, nah. I'm glad you I'm glad you brought that up because when all that stuff came up and I I, I just saw Tim Hallmark at uh, the Evander Holyfield Sun press conference when he announced who he's signing with. And but 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 Tim Hallmark is still a good guy, I still respect him, but you know, you you lose respect when you hey man, when you really realize, hey, wait a minute, man. You the one put him on that stuff. You had to be a part of that. Trying to get ahead. Holyfield, 
Holy, Holyfield wasn't educated, didn't know nothing about that stuff, bro. So, so I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. And again, yeah. and again, let's let's add allegedly because I I, I wasn't there when they were sticking their stuff in their ass. But but the thing about it is, if you if you, I'm telling you, man, if one of my fights at the professional level incorporate a a, a, a so called strength and conditioning coach, and they get do Reggie, I don't know, I, bro, that wouldn't be good, man, because. Guess, guess, guess who waving at me? Guess who waving at me? Who's that? Riddick Bo. <laughs> he just, we done he just waved at me. We done covered yeah, him yeah. too. Oh yeah, yeah, we done covered him, man. He talked, yeah, we talked him in into the conversation. Yeah, that's my man. I, man, I love that dude, bro. That dude, and I love to see where they at now. Him the whole field down there. They I best they, friends. Yeah, man. They best friends. I see. I say that's the boxing hard couple, man. That's <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Now, now, now you saw that video when him and Holyfield was in the gym talking. Huh? Now that was funny, boy. They just yeah, going I said, back. I said, I love man. it. I love it. I love it, man. Hey, <laughs> yeah, that was Evan, cool. uh, Warriors boxing say who did uh, Evan sign with? He signed with uh, uh, the same main event. Was yeah, main event, main right? Event. The dude, which is crazy. Which is crazy, bro. Which is crazy. Listen, Evander, he wasn't even there. And, and you know, they got some stuff going on with, with Evander and the mama and this and that. And, and uh, Evander told me, I talked to him one time. We was on the phone to about 2.30 in the morning. He said, man, I'm trying to t explain to my son if I'm in his corner, if I'm with him. First of all, think about it. When, when, when I was at that press conference, when his son got up and talked, the mother... All the son didn't even mention Evander's name. Bro, you wouldn't even be on that stage if you didn't have that Holyfield last name. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Check this out, man. And Termite Watkins is caught up in the middle because he's training him. And Holyfield, the one called Termite, and told him about his son. But but yeah, but, thought, but but then, and, and then I, I met... The uh, uh, huh? I said, I thought that was the story that, that Evander asked uh, Termite to train him or something. Yeah, now that's true. That's true. But now Termite is, is, is handling. Termite told me one time, well, when he invited me to the press, I want you to come, Reggie. You know, because I've, I've been knowing Termite since I was thirteen. He was one of the guys I was I was uh, uh, told to go see and talk to, and I did downtown way back in the day. But hope, but 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 Termite is like, you know, playing the mama against the daddy. And li listen, man, Holyfield Thanks. wasn't there. Holyfield wasn't there, and I talked to Holy. He said, well, listen, man, I tried to get my son to go with my company. He would have been worth even more if I'm in his corner or standing next w with him. And uh, and then, you know, you know that kind of like, I know uh, he's pissed off that he signed with main event, especially without his dad, because Evander Holyfield, all those fighters they signed, Pernell Whitaker was the only one that didn't leave main event when they found out they were still taking all that money. Right, right. You see? Listen, nah, 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 God, nah, what's the lady's name? I just, oh, Kathy Duva. When I was Kathy. at Kathy Duva, when I was at that press conference, I walked up to her, I said, hey, how you doing? And she's looking at me, she's trying to figure out who I am. She knows she knows me, but she, cause, cause I went and sat and met with them in New Jersey before, but I was going through some stuff from trying to get out another contract. They said, well, no, we can't, you know, we have to get out this contract, Reggie. We love to sign you, but we don't want no lawsuit. But that lady was looking at me, and then when she figured out who I was, she said, oh my God, she's Reggie. Yeah, but, but 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 she had that look on her face, man. And let me tell you something, bro. That that that, that thing that thing with with uh, Evander's son. I didn't know that. I thought that was good. It didn't feel good. I thought that was all on purpose. I thought Evander brought him down there and he, and, he, and he landed. No, him. no, 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 bro. Yeah. Back hey, hey, even even the great, you know who Georgie Benton was, the great trainer. He was the guy yeah, that absolutely. really trained all the fighters. Absolutely. Check this out. It wasn't Lou Duva. It wasn't Lou Duva. Lou Duva in the corner, man. Now that's all bullshit, oh, knew, man. It wasn't Lou Duva. I knew that. I knew he was the front man. Yeah. Did did hey before Georgie did Georgie Benton pass? Even he sued main event and won three million dollars. Did you know that? No. Absolutely they, had, not. They, they, they was taking all his money, and I don't know if he even got his three million because I know it was right around. You know, he ended up dying, but he won that lawsuit. Mm -hmm. See that's, see that's why 
That's why I'm, I, hey, man, I'm getting ready to write a book on boxing. I got a couple of books I'm going to write, man. <laughs> For real, man, because it's, it's boxing, to, bro. It's just, it's just too much stuff write, going on. Write these yeah. stories down, bro, and you compile them at the end. You know, every time you think right. about something, you got to put it down, man. But, of, of course, I know Georgia Benton, man. Georgia Benton, for a middleweight, I want to say in the late 50s or early 60s, uh, I was taught about him uh, from my uncle who fought in the 70s, late 60s, the one who trained us. He told me about that guy, and uh, I just so happened ended up in Houston and learned about George's Benton, uh, Georgia Benton's, uh, you know, involvement in Houston goes way back. You know, wasn't he? So you originally from New Orleans? You originally from New Orleans? Oh yeah, born and raised, man. I, I came here twenty years ago, but before that, yeah, that's where I'm from. Man, don't you know my ex-wife is from Gretna? <laughs> I'm from Morello. <laughs> Check this right out, man. Right next door. Right now, hey, hold on. You're going to know this fighter because me and him was on the U.S. team together. And uh, he fought. He, when he turned pro, he ended up fighting Julio Cesar Chavez for the world title. Super D. Yeah, what's his name again? The whole name. John, du John Duplessis. Duplessis. That's my man. Yeah, I know John. Yeah. Me yeah, and John yeah, was yeah. on the U.S. team together. Uh, wait a minute. John fought what? Did He fought 139 or 119? Oh shit! Nah, nah, he, he was one nineteen. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, he was one nineteen back then. Yeah, uh, yeah, he fought one twenty five or one nineteen or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. Chavez, though. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, John was a real bow legged, tall, bright guy. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> yeah, John. Super deep. <laughs> oh yeah, man. man, that's that's my background, bro. But but yeah, that I, I didn't know nothing about. Uh, like I said, Georgia Ben was in my top five trainers all the time. Oh and, yeah, man. and just so happen, ain't he the guy behind Sweepy? Wasn't he the guy behind he, Sweepy? He the guy <laughs> behind everybody. Uh, uh, Mark Wheeler, Evander Holyfield, uh, uh, Tyrell Biggs, all the guys that they signed. He he behind all them guys. And you're right, and Pernell Whitaker. He behind really? all them guys. He was the man. Lou Duva was just Lou Duva was man. When may he rest in peace, though, man. But Lou Duva. He wasn't even. He was just like one of the trainers, and 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 his, his uh 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 son and uh, Kathy Duva and them had they had the promotion of the company. Duva was just like like a just you know like a trainer, so they just brought him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah well, well, he worked the corner. He was like the face guy, you know. But that right, dude, right, that right. man, let me tell you something, Luke. I'm not I'm not saying that he didn't know a, a left hook from a fish hook, but he wasn't a man. Georgie Ben was a man, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I I didn't know I didn't know Ben, but I know who he is, what he did. I, and when I came here and they started started talking uh uh about Georgie Ben, I said, Well, I, hell, that's one of the greatest that ever did it, you know. Did he live here? Who? Ben. No, 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 no. Yeah, they all was here. Lou Duva, all of them. They the whole US boxing team. I mean Everybody who signed with main event trained here. They was in Pasadena, then they was here in Houston. Pernell Whitaker, Medrick Taylor, uh, 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 Evander Holyfield. What's the big heavyweight? Tyrell Bridge and Mark Breland. All five hey. of them was here training. Hey, I, I'm yeah, they all you, training. I tell people, I tell Medrick Taylor, man, that was the fastest fighter. That's the fastest hands I ever seen on a human being, man. You ever seen something man, like that? that Man, I hey, I saw it in the amateurs. We all came up together. That's the correct. That, 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 that's the area I came up in. All of us. Uh, even I, hey, I'm gonna send you a picture of me and Mike Tyson when we were 16 years old. Me and Tyson we used to be hanging. All, all of us was close, man. Yeah. I yeah. tell you, man. We don't know. Uh, we don't went for a while, man. I'm glad we hooked up on this, man. Cause uh, me not being from here, you know, I just learned about Houston stuff. Just from talking to guys like you, you know the the, the background and, and and I've learned in the last twenty years, but I don't know exactly everything, you know. But I knew well, Houston let me, was a let, hook. let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, man. Who the first? Who the, who the first guy from Houston to win a boxing world title? Who and who the first guy from New Orleans to win a boxing world title? Who you going back on New Orleans? I'm gonna say. Uh, Okay, we'll we'll forget about New Orleans. Let's just say Houston. Yeah. Who the first guy from Who the first guy from Houston to win a boxing world title? 
I, I'm not even gonna pretend I know, man. Who, I know, but you got to come up with 